I want in this video I'm going to give you an update on what is going on with me the last week and the topic share of does fever reduce decrease your hemoglobin level normal people don't really care because what if their hemoglobin re reduce and their body is able to rebuild it back so that doesn't really matters to them so what matters is a patient who require blood transfusions where their body could not uh, replace it back so in this video we're going to cover it too so go to flashback to about more than a week i wouldn't want to say one week but uh, there's another week it's uh, actually two weeks ago now it's actually monday so it's a two weeks flashback on the monday itself uh, the early sign if i wake up i'm having sore throat uh the first place in the beginning when i first the early sign of uh, getting sick so what is going on is i wake up they have uh, found that i've known voice i can't really even talk uh, when i thought it's, <coughs> it's hard and it's not sounds like my voice sounds like uh, worse than old, more, old man voice at the beginning so i was taught them must be eating too much uh, heaty food <coughs> so then i went to get some herbal tea to you know cool myself down hopefully will recover thinking that uh, later on the day and before I know it, the second day, I do not rec uh, do not recover yet. But in fact, I get running nose and uh, flu in addition uh, as a plus. So then uh, I was having flu and also running nose out there all the time. Really uncomfortable. When you're sick, it's really hard to get to bed. <coughs> get to bed. So when you try to sleep, you wake up. And I will later, then you sleep again, you can't wake up. Kind of on and off, it's really kind of suffering in the process. But then you have no appetite, then you lost weight. Uh, I probably lost about 1 kg uh, from now you see me. Yeah, probably I was uh, a kg more at least uh, from, uh, from now, uh, before I'm sick. Then I uh, lost weight, no appetite, that's why you don't eat you eat you warm it it out so yeah second day still need not recover third day i have no choice but to go to the doctor uh, because third day i wake up i feel like heatiness going up to the body i know the you know the symbol of uh, fever is coming so i was so afraid because fever actually uh in thalassemia, we have very really experience, bad experience with fever because uh, fever actually could, we have, uh, we actually experience it before. Fever can actually decrease uh, hemoglobin, but we're not sure that the, this time way it does, so we go to see the doctor anyway. Uh, anyway, I do not have some any medicine now, so I have to go to the clinic to take some. I go to the polyclinic. Uh, just opposite my house. I was ready to pay, but anyways, a sub subsidized clinic is the uh, is the same company I have my this uh, Medifund with the government subsidized, so I do not have to pay uh, this polyclinic either. So I went to register, and I was late for the registration because I do not know the clinics close so early. Three forty five p.m. they close supposed to be about 5 p.m. Uh, 3 45 the whole clinic closed because the whole clinic is divided into uh, I think three story and level one is a uh, pharmacy level two is consultation three could be a uh, scanning and laboratory things like that so they <coughs> separate it up and they don't want to you know last minute all the patient company so they stop at one uh, an hour early uh, in the process so they can finish all the remaining patient uh, to the uh, the rest of the working hours like 5 p.m. they had an hour over to finish the remaining pa patient to see all the all of them and 
take all their medicine and go back so I was waited at the level 2 I registered and that's my first time there I did not went to the polyclinic before it's quite new to me there it's quite new polyclinic so I went there to wait uh, I held a lady with the wheelchair in because uh, her husband not sure she get something for her so no, no, no one is pushing her into the consultation room so she asked me to help say no problem and I also help her out to the place she, she wanted to for her husband to you know fetch her later and uh, after the patient next to me is seated then it's my turn the third patient is me so I go in uh, talk to the uh, doctor about my condition that I have uh, uh, I've headache sore throat uh, running nose flu then I have symptoms of fever then she take my temperature and 37.3 so no fever so I was asked why you did not prescribe me if, uh, this uh, uh, this antibiotic then she said uh, your fever is stopped so she so don't need to give antibiotic but they should should give anyway huh, because the, you know, the disease is still in the body maybe they are afraid that you know if you have reaction to antibiotic it may cause more severe serious side effect you know, you know that if you have a brain reaction to, could cause death or even very severe consequences if you have allergy to it so they rather not give but she prescribed me a lot of drug <coughs> that include flu flu running nose uh, cough mixture that's the common one but she give me a you know a bottle look like cough mixture is a glass bottle but inside is a, it's a it taste like less string kind of mouthwash it's just for, it's for, the, for the throat but what's that have to do with the throat you, you just mouthwash it it doesn't touch your throat not, not sure whether that is useful at all you know some people mistaken it and drink it it look exactly as the the mouthwash itself the less string so it look as exactly at the as as that bottle as the cough mixture so some people might drink drink wrongly thinking it's the cough mixture so it's uh, not advisable in my opinion to give and they give a lot of pen and door but uh by then my fever have haven't actually started yet that's what i'm going to tell you so i thought my fever was just milk fever and it would retrieve wait till you see the next two days after i see the doctor consultation i thought i was fine already and uh, i think one or two days exactly about two days after the doctor consultation i will wake up with a really really heartening uh, feeling of fever that i know is uh, is is hot fever for confirmed but i'm not sure just how high the degrees i predict it's at least 38 or something so I take Panadol immediately because I, have, I know it's fever immediately from that I feel my neck, I feel my back everywhere is hot I feel my chest is so hot I drink lots of tons of water by then it's still not retrieved so it's too late it's, it's already fever so you have to you know wait for the fever to retrieve take the Panadol on time and I want, I want to go down to the polyclinic to you know take more uh, the antibiotic or something to help to retrieve faster but I was so weak I sleep until 3 something when I want to go there the clinic already closed 3.45 the clinic closed very early 3.45 I have to go early that few days I sleep so many hours I couldn't sleep you know when you are sick you sleep wake up sleep wake up you couldn't sleep well you just couldn't sleep well and you don't feel like eating anything you are even you have a delicious meal you couldn't eat yeah you just don't feel like eating and when you think of food you kind of want to avoid and just, just eat and drink whatever you like but you don't feel like eating anything you want to just eat a little snack or what uh, now and then so i make myself some porridge and uh, get over it 
throughout these few days and two days ago I just uh, get over it I guess on the Saturday itself then the fever is continue, uh, continue, completely retrieved so it lasts about I think three days the fever so it's, it's, uh, it lasted for three days I just take uh, Panadol completely and I do not have a thermometer because I want to when I realize I have uh, quite high fever, I want to go down to the polyclinic to have a uh, this uh, thermometer, but I did not get to go, so I did not, did not take. It's important to know your you know temperature. What 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 if it's so high that you need to be watered thirty nine or something forty? So you really need a thermometer to check your condition to see uh, what to do, whether to you know sit your doctor health or rest at home or to be warded if if it's thirty nine point eight or that you have to go to hospital obviously you are, could be in emergency you need to go to uh, A and E or ICU or that. But what I'm gonna talk about is the after that uh after my this uh before my fever that day is uh, before my fever I went to the uh uh because my fever occurs two days after my transition is uh it's rarely happened uh, that way it's after I have completely recovered my sore throat that, that it start to occur so my but it's after the milk fever my hemoglobin is uh thirty the hemoglobin is uh what I can recall is uh eight point six so I have my milk fever at that period of three weeks and three weeks after is 8.6 uh, so a slight fever do not uh, affect fever and high fever do affect I do have uh, encounter high fever encounter so this uh, fever that the ape or something probably will affect uh, so not later it will affect I either were you know by two weeks I will realize that my hemoglobin has drained faster than I have uh, tra transfused three weeks. Uh, it will use up uh, faster than that I thought. Probably will in some ways uh, decrease a little uh, because the milk fever did not. So three weeks I went still maintain at the, the, the around the range I normally used to be. So hopefully this time you will see normally that that high fever will in some way decrease because once I have a high fever and drop down to four point something yeah from uh, supposed to su supposed to, supposedly to be eight point something so just to let you know that uh milk fever it doesn't affect a lot maybe 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 a little little very little but majority of it it doesn't affect for high fever it could affect it could uh, affect more than fever or some other consequences more than fever uh, fever is the milk case uh, for high fever so that's about it just to share with you give you new an update of uh, I'm not going anywhere just could update you uh, when I have something to share on my video blog I just so say I don't have voice to talk on the podcast. Could I even do a podcast or the video? The last few days I was so <coughs> now, now even got, I still have some cough. <laughs> so I have to drink this cough mixture. Eh? So thanks you guys for watching this video. Appreciate your time. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.